Hey there, good old Minecraft Day here, and welcome back. This time, uh, we'll be doing a different kind of video. We'll be doing a tutorial of how to make an outro. It, I know it's been a while that we've been making a video of gaming, and school's hard. Trust me. If you're a kid watching this, school's hard. And don't um, cheat or don't slack off. Don't be like me. Okay, so anyways, it's a really short video. Not, I don't, It depends how long we have to make this. So what you can do, you come in here, you import a media. Let's just say you already have a picture or something uh, preset for yourself. So let's see. Where's my outro picture? Um, okay, here it is. Okay, so this is your out, um, outro picture. So you want this to be um, not the first layer because anything that's below this layer will be covered and you don't want that. Let's, um, let's get a video. Let's place it right on top. So let's see what video we have. Let's see. Let's do the home shake video. That's the last one I did. Okay, let's let that get in here. And uh, there you go. So you can see there's the image and there is, well, the video footage and the audio under it. So those two are hooked up together. And um, I'll teach you how we can split them off right after. So right now, you can see if I put. Um, the tracker here, you don't see the image right here. You don't see the video. So what you do here is you move this under the video. So see that? That's right on top. But you don't see the picture at all because it's all covered. So here's what you do. You see right here a little square with uh, the two corners with uh, X sticking out. So press that. And what that do is it creates a video event FX and it crops the size of the image or the footage. When you guys hear me say image, I'm messing up if it was the outro image or the footage. Okay? Don't get um, confused. So what you do is you go to the corner, you pull it out. So make sure you, when you have the um, frame right here, the F frame, got it? Okay, so we pull that out, pulled that out yeah, slowing words, and we move it to the bar kind of fit where we want. So let's just say it's right here. Um, you can make it bigger. You can zoom back in again and move this over here, and we can complete that. So there's that. You have your own uh, video outro about last time what you did or kind of like that. That was loud. Sorry about that. I'll fix that up maybe right after, I think. Okay. So anyways, you want to take out the audio. You don't want the audio there when you're wanting your outro. So what you do here in... Um, oh, anyways, I'm using Vegas Pro 11. Yes, right up here. Right up there. Okay, what you do, you right-click it. You go to Group. And you go to Remove From. So what that does is it separates the audio and the footage. So you can delete that, just select it, delete it, it's gone, it's not there. And uh, right now it will be just, oh, and you can just drag this out, a little common sense. So what you do, it will just, see that? It will be the video inside of giant frame. That's how people make their last time or next time or subscribe to me this thing. So that's what you do. And you want music, so let's import that. Media is just for video and uh, music. So you go to desktop, well, well, not desktop, whatever your, where your music is. So mine is in my download. So I'm going here. Uh, download. Don't mind pictures. I was doing something. Okay, let's just see. Where's my uh, normal audio? Here, so mine is the five card shuffle. So I bring that in, it's already here, it's really quick. You drag that in, and here's your music. So of course you're not gonna use like a two minute 
um, soundtrack in for your outro. Depend if you actually want it. I'm not complaining. It's your choice. Um, what you do is you kind of want to cut it to a well amount. So I cut it around 30, 37, um, kind of, I don't know. Let me cut that first. Oops, that's not my first. Okay. So mine is around 35, 36. Yeah, around 35 seconds. So I cut that out. You don't want some, uh, um, emptiness there. You see what I'm um, talking about? It's right here where the flat lines mean silence and you don't hear anything or if you really want to tone it down you kinda have to zoom in a lot. Let's go there. So uh, Where's that ending of the music? So there you go. So this is the second part ending. You see that? ultra flat line that's mean uh there's no sound and you don't want that so um you kind of tone that well this part's the whole song so you don't really need to cut it out right in the middle cuz that's how the sequence go so what you do you drag the uh the footage it'll hi uh, the, it'll highlight uh it was just the footage that you selected and this it'll highlight just the picture that you selected and right now I deselected like uh, I'm not pressing onto it, so now there you go. Now you can uh, trim it, whatever you want. So let's just say I want to dim this like 21, and I have no idea what's it. What's the seconds? I think so. So that's two seconds, and that's half a second. I think yes. Um, it jumps from half a second to straight to a whole second. So I don't know why it does that. So you want to sync this up 21 and 21 and let's just say we want a little fade start you can make it a whole second but it does make a difference I'll show you um, okay so let's put it to one and we'll play it from let's see let's tone this down I hope this is not too loud okay so we start from the beginning yeah it lags a little bit I do this But. So I can't really show you that well, but I can show you out like this. So I can uh, do this slowly frame by frame. You see that there was that um, slow intro fade. So that's good. So whatever it does. Because it's a lot harder and I'm filming my own desktop. So that's kind of hard for me to do. Um, so yeah, you continue to do this, so frame by frame, I like how it's loading like this and not um, in video form, but still, you go down here and then it fades down, kind of like that, and um, you kind of do that, that's pretty much it. And uh, the next part, I'll show you how you can uh, simply create your own background, and quick switch. Okay, we're back, and... Uh, Right now, I am in Pixlar, or whatever you call it, and it's called pixlar.com slash editor. You don't need the last slash, but I say it anyways. So um, what you do is here, this is an online Photoshop kind of editor video thing. It's the best. Like, this is how I make all the thumb, uh, thumbnails and everything. So, and it works pretty, oh, pretty well. So whatever you do, you... First, find a black uh, background. You go to Google. You search up what kind of background for um, your outro. So let's just say I went into my image, open image, go to pictures, and here's my background. Yay! So you open it up, nice and smooth, nothing there. And um, what you do now, you go into layer. Layer you want it to be well, well I'm talking about two things right now okay what I was going to say was uh, when I was looking down here for the pixels the pixel is I think 1280 by 1080p that's how I do my um, pictures because that's the same as HD imaging and it's the best that you should do 
because it fills in the whole screen and without the black lines normally in videos and that's the best way to do it anyways we're going back to layer so layer you go here and you open up an image or URL URL for image you can just copy the URL 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 um, link from just clicking the picture like uh, right click and then there's uh, something copy it so what you do is not that you go into open image as layer so this is something I saved already so I go into Facebook make sure the pictures that you select for it for layers are uh, PNG PNG is the video uh, pictures video pictures video pictures pictures that um, allow you see this um, frame in the back like a frame on the side that's actually in indicating that um, that's the whole picture but it's actually um, invisible so like see that there is no edge on that so that's very well and you go in here the move tool and you can drag this around you let's just say Facebook is going to be right here and that's layer one so what you do here will not affect layer zero so let's just say I go to erase drag that around nothing happens it won't erase the layer zero but if I do this see that um, I clicked on layer zero because I dragged it up a little bit so I should drag that back down so there you go so just like the video how it covers up everything so um, if you want all the stuff that's important and everything show put your base stuff on the bottom so layer zero um, just put it on the bottom of the list it's the best so let's just say um, what was I going to say forgot Oh yeah, so adding new layers, you just go simply put like open image and layer. Let's go Twitch TV. So once again, there's no borders around it because it works like that. PNG, love that. So you move this, see that? Because this is under it, see that? Because it's layer two and we've pl placed it under it. So we have to move that over and see that? Goes out right over to Facebook. But you can't move other pictures around. So this layer only moves this. So my mouse is on the other side and Facebook is up here. I can't move Facebook unless I click on the same layer and I can move Facebook. But you cannot move other layers. So that's how it works. So that's pretty much it. So I'm bringing you back out to Google Chrome and um, into the website. So right here, you can see that on the image I had um, it was this cool looking um, image with all the uh, Minecraft text and it's like whoa where can I get that so that's pretty much this website here so let's go back out um, this is the website spot monkey with two e's dot uh, net slash Minecraft so what you do here you come out you scroll down I don't know it used to have stuff in here and uh, you can generate the images. So what I like to do is the big font and my favorite color, the my character, the blue, and let's say G O M C D. Like that. And there you go. There's the thick one. And if you want the thin one, there's go back. Let's go back out. And you select the thin one. The same text on the server uh, or chats on uh in game so you generate that and there you go text GOMCD in the Minecraft text and what you do is now you go to direct link you copy it you bring it back in here so let's just say this is like the same um, image that we used that I closed accidentally and um, keep when you're making a new image in here keep it transparent it's the best when you want to create image if you don't have like opening holes like anything in the video uh, in the image that you're deleting so yeah and we're going to open the image in URL or open image URL as layer and I said it totally wrong so we're bringing this back up from uh, the past and we're gonna click it and we're gonna copy or paste that um, URL in here and you press OK let it process a little bit and there you go it's right here 
um, there's the image. No, I don't want to apply change. And just like this, the image is on a new layer. So right here, I'm moving it. And uh, I don't need it moving the first layer. And if I go back to layer 0, only moving layer 0. So yeah, that's how you do the text. And if I mess messing anything, missing anything. Okay, back in here. So right now, I set uh, this up again. And you can see I'm already starting editing from the past um, shortcuts. Yes, it's I'm kind of <laughs> doing that. And so let's go through your base uh, image, your lower um, image for your outro. You want to put it not on the first one there. And then you put this, your image or your footage, whatever I said, um, you put it right on top. And you, you can, once again, remove this before or after um, you crop it. So you can take away the audio. You uh, delete that. And you place it back here. And you crop this, pulling the frame outwards to make the your footage or your screen, your second screen, smaller. So you bring it out here. You place it there. You press um, the exit button. It'll save that. And you keep it that, it'll be there. And adding your audio, your audio, just place it in here, crop it. So let's just say you want it at that size without messing up the, the length. So you place it there, and it'll perfectly sync with each other. So music's playing, and then you have your imp, your uh, footage playing without the background music, so it doesn't mess up mess up with your uh, background sound so yes um that's pretty much it and uh if you have any questions feel free to um ask a question in the comment i'll try my best to answer it and i'll see you guys next time